Uh, my name is Kelly Weston, and for Uni France's Critics Lab, I'm going to be reviewing the Goldman case. So the film is about the uh, French intellectual um, Pierre Goldman, uh, who um, was uh, of Polish Jewish descent, uh, and he lived in Paris and. Um, eventually uh, sort of graduated to robbery once he um, sort of fell on hard times. Um, and the film, it takes place after he had been convicted of robbing a pharmacy and uh, in the process of that uh, robbery, he was accused of killing two bystanders, two um, women, female pharmacists. Three words to describe the film are uh, formidable, sophisticated, um, and solid, or robust, I guess I should say, <laughs> robust. Um, and the film is really fascinating because it brings up all of these questions that uh, we are currently having a conversation about where it concerns carcerality. Um, much of the film is uh, uh, centered around, the entire film actually centered around um, Goldman's appeal of his conviction. Um, and he spends a lot of time defending himself, even though his lawyers are also defending him. He takes a central um, part of his defense. And something the movie um, does really well, despite being, I guess, sort of formally um, minimalist. Um, it's very simplistic. Um, but the film really sort of gets at a lot of the ways that we I suppose socially, as and as generally broadly speaking, not just in French society, but um, I think in many, certainly in many Western societies, the way that we um, measure who uh, or measure criminality and and who is you know sort of bound to to um, commit crimes and um, versus who who is worthy of being saved and um, who. Uh, may in some ways, you know, this is an aggressive word that I wouldn't personally use, but um, the court system is, is sort of designed to um, catch degenerates or, or people who are uh, in some ways at the fringes of society. And so his trial becomes this really um, intense um, politicized event. Um, and he, the actor, uh, is is incredible, he's really forceful, um, it's really compelling. I think it sort of reminds me of um, Alice Diop's film, St. Omer from last year. Um, but it does this really interesting thing where you end up being really engaged um, by the court proceedings, even though much of the trial is just um, Pierre defending himself against these cops who have very little evidence that he committed the crime.